Hello and welcome to how to make a basic ping pong game on Scratch 3.0. So I will be covering over the basic aspects of Scratch and have making a nice and enjoyable game. So let's get straight into it. First of all, I'd like to rename my project to ping pong game. Next, we will delete the Scratch Cat Sprite. We will not need him. Next, hover over Choose a Sprite and click Choose a Sprite. So for this ping pong game, I will be using a ball. Next, then click on it. You can use anything you like. You can use a balloon, you can use a polar bear, you can use anything you'd like to use. Make let your imagination go wild. Next, center off the ball to x zero and y zero. Next, we will get a backdrop. Hover over, choose a backdrop, and then click choose a backdrop. There's lots of different backdrops that you can use, and you can go through and choose something like flowers or the normal circle or even the galaxy backdrop or moon but I'd like to use this neon tunnel this neon tunnel looks really cool in my at my opinion okay next we will want a paddle for the player to hit hit the ball hover over choose a sprite and click choose a sprite you can use anything as a paddle, you can use a broom as a paddle, a cat as a paddle, a chick as a paddle. Sometimes it might be a little bit hard to find what you're looking for. I'm looking for a paddle and I can't see it anywhere. Of course I might have skipped it. So you can just use the search engine in Scratches, in Scratch and search out what you'd like. I'd like a paddle and then click on it. Beautiful, we have a paddle and we have a ball. Drag the paddle to about here where the Y is 110 or something, negative 110. And that is great, but the player can't do anything and it's kinda boring. We'll hover over, choose a sprite, and then click paint. So with this, you can paint a sprite. I'll I want lava, but you can have whatever you like. So we'll come over here to the raw rectangle tool, and we'll change the color. Lava is red, so I'll make it red. But you can of course make it blue, you can make it some green acid thing. Again, make your imagination go wild. Then we will draw a rectangle. As you can see, the rectangle has a black outline. We don't want that, so you can set the outline to nothing. But if you want an outline, then sure, go ahead. The lava doesn't really seem correct. And because the lava is at the bottom of our um, bottom of our sprite, we will make it so that way the center of the sprite will be zero, zero. And that looks amazing. But of course, the paddle is a little bit too high. So remember, you can always adjust things if they need adjusting. Come up back to the lava sprite and rename it lava so you don't forget come over here to the ball and let's get some actual code done so we can put a move block but that just moves it that way and we want it to move without us actually clicking it oops sorry so we can put it in a loop or forever loop this will make it that way, the ball will just go to the edge. 
Then you can come over here to the sensing and then drag A. I mean, sorry, the motion block. And then drag an if on edge bounce. Great, the ball is bouncing left and right. Bit boring as the player can't do anything. So let's change it so that way it will point in direction 45. And we don't always want to click this to make it run. We'll want to make it so that way the scratches green flag will make it run. So we can come over here to events and grab when green flag clip. Click it and the ball is going around. Yay. Okay, but don't forget to make sure that the ball goes to the center. So go to zero, zero. Okay, great. The ball is now bouncing around. Come over to the paddle. And we can't do anything with the paddle right now. So let's add some code into it. We'll want to set the X to whatever the player's mouse X is, right? So we can come over here to sensing and put mouse X. Mouse X is right now that. That's where my mouse is. And you can see that that's how it is. So set X to mouse X. That will only do it once when you click on it. So we can click, go into the control, drag a forever loop, and make it that way when the green flag is clicked. Oh, great, this is already looking like a game now. Stop the project. Now come over to the ball sprite again. Move that aside. When green flag clicked, forever, if touching the lava, if touching the lava, then we'll want the game to stop. So we can come over here to control and we can put stop all. Now you can see that if the ball touches the lava, it stops the project. But how can the player save the ball from touching the lava? It's very basic. So we can do when green flag clicked forever if touch if then grab an if then block come over here to sensing touching paddle so that means if it touches the paddle it will turn 180 degrees clockwise so that way it'll turn back you can tweak this number if you want it to be a bit different if you want it to go in another angle 180 is reasonable as it will go back but you don't want the player to be stuck into an up and down loop so you can change it to 175 degrees clockwise that will make it turn that way a little bit and let's test it does it work it works okay but it's only going one way and it touches the lava and the game stops it's pretty much a game now right well no as there is no objective so what we can do is when the green flag clicked we can make a score so that way if the player reaches a certain score it can finish the game so with this when the green flag is clicked we can make a variable and call it score make sure it's clicked for all sprites and then click ok set score to zero and then if it touches the panel then it can change score by one. Now it's pretty much a game, but there is no end objective again. There's just a score. 
what we can do is when grade five clicked forever if score is equal to 50 then then do something we'll make it so that way it says hi I mean it says hello so that way when your score hits 50 that will take quite some time and when we are trying to create projects and trying to test them out you can of course make it a little bit lower so I'll make it 5 for the time being and then change it and you can see when it turns to 5 it says hello okay now that's working beautiful set this back to 50 Remove this say hello block as we don't want it to say hello. We'll want it to say, or yep, say you won. Yay. For two seconds. With that, you can put in a stop all block, and that will make it so that way when the player hits 50. The ball will stay, yay, you won. Wait, I mean, it'll say, you won, yay, for two seconds, and then it will stop the project. This is a very basic game. Make sure you save your project, whether it's if you're on Scratch, the online version of Scratch, you can just click save. But if you're on the offline version of Scratch, you can come over to File, and you can click save to your computer let's give this project a test run we press the green flag and it works isn't this an amazing game we have gone through the basics of scratch by using a when green flag clicked block a stop all block a forever block a making a variable and going through and selecting different sprites and dif and a different backdrop than what was already in Scratch. Stick around for part two, which will be short, but it will go through a little bit and make your project a little bit more polished by making a start screen and making end end screen because right now if you hit 50 it will just say something and stop the project and if you fall into lava it won't even say anything it'll just stop the project stick around for part two and have a good day or have a good night bye